What's up? Matt Vincent here, JTS Strength, mattvincent.net. Uh, just updating everybody. Uh, things are going good. We're kicking off squat week uh, pretty soon. And if anyone's got any videos you want me to analyze, I got a couple in from a couple folks and I'm going to take a look at them. Other than that, man, still uh, correcting videos and working with people for the Highland Games as well as uh, starting to get throwing done, getting ready to start the season up. Uh, pretty excited about that, too. Um, first day out throwing was uh, last weekend with a guy out in Hammond. Uh, the throws coach for Southeast Louisiana, Lucas McKay, also great uh, Olympic hammer thrower in the, uh, the U.S., uh, other than that, strength training is going well. This week was a pretty good week in the gym. Uh, the CrossFit gym I managed. Um, playing around with a little Klokov complex, warming up one day. I uh, hit a 140 pretty easily. Uh, I think I'm probably good for 155-ish. Other than that, feeling pretty strong, feeling healthy, ready to start throwing again. Um, I have to roll out my T-band pretty good, I think, the next couple weeks. Uh, the left one's really tight, and I'm betting it's from putting feet up on my desk every day, which is super athletic of me. Um, training's going good. Looking forward to start throwing, and I'll be throwing again Saturday to uh, start tightening up things, get ready for the Arnold Classic. That's going to be a fun, fun contest. Looking forward to seeing everybody there, especially the uh, the throws group, uh, the guys from Sornax, a bunch of the JTS strength guys that I've never met. And um, really happy with how training's going. I think it's going to be an exciting year. I'm lighter, sitting about 270. About this time last year, I was about 285. Uh, strength is where I want it. And just ready to get, get the season started. So, any questions uh, hit me up and uh, you know excited to see everybody out there using uh, training lab making gains uh, I've got a CrossFit competitor doing his first powerlifting meet and uh, within the first 10 weeks of program added uh, right at 100 pounds to his total uh, recently cut off the tip of his finger because he's stupid and then uh, but he's got to meet this weekend. He's persevered through it, and I think he's going to put up some real strong numbers. Um, smaller guy, and, uh, you know, making gains is making gains, and that's what's important. You can keep making 5 and 10-pound gains here. Before you know it, you've made 100, and uh, that's the trick. It's longevity. It's not about getting it done this week or next week or this, uh, you know, how do I drop 10 pounds? Um you know, it's funny, the guys that have been in the game a long time all know how it works. Uh, I think I got asked by friends, a little, by some people a while back, asking, you know, wanted to put on mass, what do you do? And, uh, you know, smaller guys who have no problem being lean, but don't know how to get big. And my response is always eat. You got to eat to get bigger. And they said, well, you know, what have you done? What have you done to put on size? I'm like, shit. 15, 15 plus years of heavy lifting and shitty diet. That's, uh pretty much what I've done and uh, some decent genetics thrown in there it helps other than that uh, keep chasing your goals and uh, keep uh, keep doing it hit me up if you got any questions about throwing or lifting or whatever I can uh, put you guys in the right plane with uh, keep at it jtsstrength.com strongest team on the internet big time and mattvincent.net I uh, keep my log there along with some other info that I don't put on GTS Strength. It's uh, diversification. That's what Wu-Tang says. So uh, talk to you guys later.